Lambda, Federation. Hello, Shepard. You must be confused. Please remain calm. Prospect is essentially a sequel to the Adrian Shepard story of Opposing Force One. G-Man uh, comes to assign Adrian a new mission and then it goes from there essentially. For every single player it differs um, a lot because I've had some play playtesters who haven't even reached the halfway mark at two and a half hours so it's um it's, it's hard to pin down exactly how long it is but i can i can guarantee you it's in terms of length of content it's the same as episode one i thought it would be 13 levels it's actually gone up to 15 now um so yes it's now 15 levels and it's all linked together and playable you know start to finish start middle end as you'd all expect and uh yes it's a full game now Plenty of new content, without a doubt. Um, I think the best way to answer that would be that um, I have I have done as much as I can to to add new content content in there without um, getting too far away from the Half Life uh, genre because it's very it's very easy to sit down and say right I'm going to do all of these new things um, and before you know it you're no longer in a Half Life you're no longer in that world if you know what I mean. Um, and Half-Life is really good for a reason and that's because they've got a good formula there so I was I was really um, really careful about going too far with it anyway and also you got I've got to remember the amount of people that are working with me which is basically no one on uh, producing new content so it's all about it's more about for me getting a good story out there um, with as much fresh content that stays within the context of the storyline that can be done and finish a product on time for people to play. So yeah, that's what it brings to the table. I think it would be helpful, but it, it, it's not essential. Um, anyone like, you know, it's standalone now and I'm working closely with Valve at the moment to, uh, to get it ready for launch. And, you know, basically we're giving it um, a good polish, uh, making sure that they're happy with it and I'm happy with it. and. Um, and yeah, the story that's in there now, um, you don't have to have played Opposing Force 1, it would help, and obviously the main audience is is, is that core fan base, um, so and the Half-Life fan base in general, but um, no, you don't have to, you could, anyone can pick it up and play it, you don't have to have any prior Half-Life game to play it, so go for it. How did I manage to work on it full time? Um, so I left. I left a job at the time in QA testing um, because I realised that I'd had enough of not getting anywhere in QA testing. Um, so I thought, obviously, I'm going to do this. As you all know, send the briefcase to uh, Mr. Newell and um, chance my arm, see what happens. Uh, the game, by the way, since that point has changed dramatically again. So um, it changed twice before I sent it to him, and now it's changed a third time. Um, all for the better, I might add. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I quit my job and I got a job in a bar, just in a normal cocktail bar in in the high street. Um, and I basically funded the game from that. Uh, that was until I sent until I sent the case to Mr. Newell, um, and then after a while it got greenlit, and then uh, I went to Germany and found some more people to support me to get it through to a full release, basically. Loads, like loads, but I can't I can't ruin the story for everyone, but the, if you uh, have a keen eye, there will be a ton of them, basically. Can't tell you, can't tell you why or, or how it fits in, um, but it fits in I think in a good way uh, to to continue the the specific timeline of Half-Life. It's hard to it's hard to tell you anything without giving anything away. So I'm just going to have to wait for people, to, unfortunately, to uh, you know play that and experience it for themselves. I think it's been missing for a long time. People really want it. Um, other people haven't 
haven't really done it um, or there's been technical challenges and I just thought you know what okay I might not have a huge team but let's just give it a go you know um, and uh, hopefully people are, will enjoy it um, yeah it's mainly it's mainly probably because of the fans really I've done that because I know um, it's been such a long time it's basically been since Half-Life 1 um, anyone's experience then um, so I thought I'd just give them a little bit of that basically and hopefully they'll enjoy it Why did I choose Half-Life? I chose Half-Life because it's one, it's my favourite game. Uh, two, um, it's basically my area of strength in my skill set. So I'd always been making little source maps even from the moment Half-Life 2 took off. So it was a question for me, okay, I want to get into the games industry. Um, okay, Source Engine might not be used by everyone. In fact, not by many people. But I, this is my strongest skill set. Um, for me to learn Unreal Engine is going to take longer, or Cry Engine is going to take longer, um, and partic not particularly going to get me the job that I want. Um, so I thought, you know what, I've been making levels in the Source Engine for ages, just give it a try. The biggest technical ta challenges just become technical challenges that you have to solve. Um, so for example, getting the game to work standalone a few weeks ago, um, that was a huge technical challenge and I was just like, wow, here we go. I haven't done this before, but um, you know, Valve left me to my own devices and they, they said to me essentially, you know, um, if you've got any issues, we're here to help, but you know, we, you, you can do it basically. I've probably worked on it now over about two and a half thousand hours, maybe three thousand hours I reckon I'm approaching. That might even be a conservative estimate. I hope the impact is that it will drive people to do more creative work like this. Um, I hope it will give people the inspiration to really finish what they start as well. Um, because I do find that uh, a, a lot of mods, probably 90%, they take off and they just they just don't ever become anything. Which is a shame because the ideas behind them are often very good. So I would hope, I guess what I want the impact to be is to kind of say to the modding community, you can finish what you started. It's not going to be easy and it's going to be a lot of hard work. Um, believe me, it's going to be a lot of hard work. Um, but just, I, I want people to know that when they do get to the 95%, the last 5% is more like 50%. So uh, that's just from my experience anyway. And you've just got to wake up and, and if you believe in your project and if you believe in your idea, um, you can get it finished, but you're just going to have to work on it every day um, and dedicate your life to it. So if I could, if I could tell myself now, back uh, two years ago to start again, uh, what, what, where to start, what to do, I would say, I would say definitely draw the entire game from start to finish out on paper first, without doubt draw the whole thing out on paper even if it takes you three weeks draw it all out storyboard it all out on paper um, it's very easy to fire up hammer and start making a level and start playing with the game and seeing what it's like but i would definitely say draft it out um, in detail start to finish and then that way you can picture it in your head everything you have to do what's ahead of you you've got a vision of what you need to do and where to end it so i would say work smart work efficiently have a plan uh, and stick to it, in the great words of the sniper. Um, and um, yeah, draft it out, make sure you know what you want to do before you start. I would say this differs from other source mods. Um, it's, it's a start to finish experience. You will, you start and it's, it's like a full game. It's kind of, it's really, <coughs> excuse me, it's, kind, it's left, I would say it has generally left the region of being a mod. Yes, everywhere. So why did I decide to put a price tag on something that's usually free? I guess usually through free um, depends on the individual on the individual product really. Uh, usually free if the game wasn't complete, if the game was lacking structure and a person behind it that 
had basically done it in their spare time and had a job that's being paid maybe um, for me there's no other there's no other alternative um, I decided to dedicate my life to this and to get to get people a product in a reasonable amount of time start to finish at a good quality standard you need to dedicate your life to it um, if you don't want to dedicate your life to these things they will take vastly longer and might not even get finished so uh, that's why basically and, and if you want me to be able to create a second game instead of going and getting a job and not creating a second game and creating a third game and a fourth game then that's just unfortunately the way it's got to be um, behind every good game will be a good uh, business or structure of people that are helping that game get to where it's got to be um, if you don't have that then you're gonna have big issues and think and the ship will sink it's just a matter of time I think um, if you run out of cash you can't just sit here and keep going because you got you got to pay for your rent you got to pay your bills and it's that simple and if I want to transcend into being a full-time developer um, that's the only way I can do it it's impossible otherwise to do it some people have brought up the donations thing um, so the conversion rate for people that see your product and will buy it is is very very small it's under five percent the conversion rate for people that feel that you should get a donation is under 1000 percent so for people that do say you should just do donations um, you're looking your the odds of you getting enough money in donations to to be able to uh, Arc a, arc a career path out of it is slim to none. It just, it just, it does not generate enough revenue. So that's that question. Disp uh, myth dispelled. I hope. City 17 doesn't feature in the game. I say that now. Um, it's it. The game starts to never prospect, and you will have to wait and see where it goes from there. go to prospectgame.com prospect obviously spelled with a k um, so yeah prospectgame.com you can go there and uh, that can, that will link you to the steam page or you can just simply type prospect in google now and it will be right up the top so uh, yeah that's all you got to do really um, it's coming out 11th of feb um, at the moment it's got 10% off in all the different regions in the main ones i do believe it's uh, 9.99 euros 9.99 dollars and 7 pounds 50 but now it's got 10% off so it's a little bit cheaper Like, I really, to be honest, never thought this would be so well received. I thought I was going to get an incredible amount of criticism, boycott, all of this. So uh, to, to have the community come out and be like, you know what? Thank you, first of all. They said, people have told, said thank you to me. I don't know why they're thanking me, but uh, yeah, people have said thank you for making this, you know, already purchased my copy and, uh, you know, thank you for dedicating all your time to, uh, to doing it. Um, and I'll just say, you know, Thank you back to all those people for supporting me and uh, getting me to this stage, to be honest, because people have got to realise as well that, I mean, it wasn't just Valve that, that greened at the game, it was them, you know, uh, like 10,000 of you voted to put the game on Steam, you know, it wasn't just Valve. Um, and I'm sure if 10,000 of you voted not to put the game on Steam, I would not be here today and Valve would have said, well, everyone doesn't want this on Steam, so why would we put it on Steam, you know? So, um, the community has driven this from the beginning and I think they they need to realise that oh, I haven't forgotten that so uh, yeah definitely thank you to everyone especially the people who saw it on Greenlight and, uh, and went crazy for it so yeah big thank you and also there's been some people who have, right from the start um, have been supportive even from day one when it went on Greenlight and now they're here and they're commenting and they're going to get a full game in less than two weeks now so to those people that have stuck with me right from the beginning um, massive thank you to them as well. 